And hello there. My name is Strike Alpha, and I'm here casting my friend Gohan's game as he plays Draven. He's going to be playing with a Riven, Kindred, Zed, and Janna on that blue team. On the red team, however, it's going to be Jax, Lee Sin, Cho'Goth, Bane, and Lux. So, just going into these team comps, it looks like blue team is going to be pretty much going for all the picks that they can possibly get. Uh, they don't completely have a front line unless you really want to call Riven a front line. But there's quite a bit of mobility in terms of their entire team for that matter um, so in all honesty I'm thinking that they are going to be trying to get ahead as fast as they possibly can uh, whenever they possibly can meanwhile the red team they have a bit of a front line they have Cho'Goth and they have Jax Lee Sin is going to be doing his best to try and see if he can't manage to get through that front or get through that front line and move to the back line doing some damage that way Meanwhile, you got Bane and Lux also participating in that with a bit of a frontline, backline situation too. So, um, personally, I think that the red team is essentially going to be looking more towards the mid game as their team fighting composition is pretty good. Um, but that's the question. It's a matter of whether or not the blue team is going to allow the red team to actually get that far. Um, there's going to be a little bit of effort on the red team to not necessarily give up the ground to allow that to happen. So, starting off with these team comps and looking at these lane matchups now, uh, Riven and Jax. Hmm. I think spectator mode might be broke. Not sure what's going on. Kind of worried about this because uh, at this point, I don't think I can cast games. Hmm. Let's try this again. Try to reconnect all right well that was a little bit of a bug but hopefully that should be fixed this next time through um, might have to do some video editing but one way or another we're gonna try it again and get back into this game hopefully we didn't miss too much uh, anyway so yeah going back into these lane matchups uh, Ribbon and Jax, that's a fairly delicate matchup. If one champion gets ahead, chances are they are going to essentially be able to shred the other one pretty easily. Uh, Jax is... There... Oh, wow. So much did actually happen. Uh, looks like there was an invade, and both Draven and Vayne and Zed and Cho ended up getting kills. Uh, looks like first blood went to Draven. Uh, he seems to have the most money right now, despite having the only two CS. But anyway, uh, so Jax is going in on. There we go. All right, Kendrick came up for the gank on Jax. I'm gonna say she had that uh, mark on him, so or they had that mark on him, so uh, definitely is gonna be super favorable for Kindred moving on through this game um, but yeah so now with that happening it looks like Riven might have a slight bit of an advantage uh, we'll just have to see how that matchup in top plays out with that let's go ahead and move on to the jungle matchup uh, my personal philosophy on junglers. Oh, and it looks like Cho is 
Cho was waiting, but I don't think he necessarily knew that he was being baited for the trap. He had a ward on him that entire time, and Kindred is going to get a second kill, uh, showing that she's doing quite a bit of work right now. And oh, and the burst comes down from the Lux, getting the kill on this Janna. Draven is by himself. Uh, let's see if the Lux is going to be able to catch him and get another kill for Bane. Oh, Leeson is in bot. He's going through. He throws his coconut. He lands it. And after Lux hits him with that foot binding, she gets that kill. Or Leeson gets the kill on uh, Bane. Now Jax is running for his life. Riven considering jumping over that wall, but doesn't look like she's actually going to follow through with it. Zed, on the other hand, looks like he's going to try and cut off the Jax, but he backs off. But yeah, uh, my personal philosophy on junglers is that, it's, oh, and we got another fight, even before I can continue to, to say anything. All right, and, and Jax currently has a mark on him right now. If he dies here, this might be a bad situation for him, but Lee Sin is there and able to help Jax get a equalizing kill uh, to balance things out. However, Riven, it looks like she wants to go ahead and do something, but I don't think she's going to do it. She does it just a little too late. She hops that wall after Jax recalls. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, as I was saying before, my philosophy on jungle is that if you aren't able to make an early game impact, it makes it difficult for the rest of your team to really be able to do anything effectively. Uh, that being said, Kindred has had quite a bit of an effect on this game so far, and also so has Lee Sin for that matter. Uh, later on in the game, if Lee Sin chooses to go tanky, that's going to be another frontline member for the red team, which probably wouldn't hurt them all that much. Meanwhile, we got this fight up top. Riven's taking quite a bit of damage, but now Kindred's back. Jax forgetting that he had that stack on him. And now we got wards going down. This might be the end of Jax. There we go. And it looks like the stack is going to be going over to Kendrick right now. Meanwhile, Zed's going in on Shogoth. That should be enough to get that kill. But the Ignite takes down Zed. And there is a dead ninja. Oh. Anyway. Or any move. Uh, oh wow, quite a bit of damage coming down from this Lux on this Draven. But, anywho, <laughs> Kindred is definitely having quite a bit of an impact, and now it looks like she's going to be focusing more on uh, counter jungling against this Lee Sin. Lee Sin doing pretty good right now, though. He was able to get, take that first dragon of the game less than seven minutes into the game. Like I said, it's up to the jungler to have some sort of impact on the game, whether it be through ganking lanes or uh, objective control. Uh, he, ha They have to be able to kind of control some aspect of the tempo of the game. And uh, looks like both of these guys are pretty effective at doing it. So this is going to be a really nice matchup, I think, to watch. In mid, we got Zed and Cho. Uh... Zed is trying to get ahead. He has a little bit of damage. Um, we got another fight up top. Looks like Riven and Jax are still going at it. Uh, Ignite goes down on Jax and Ignite goes down on Riven. Riven should be able to shield her way out of this. And Jax is going to try and fight. But he miscalculates and the flash from Riven allows Riven to get that smooth uh, 6,000 IQ uh, counter kill off the Jax jumping in on her. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, so, oh, and it looks like we got a fight in bot now. Draven throwing his spinning axes, but the condemn from Vayne coming down. Oh, but the stand aside also lands on the Vayne, and she's going to be running a little bit. Meanwhile, it looks like Kendrick is trying to get this kill on Cho'Gath. The coconut goes down on Kendrick, and Kendrick goes ahead. Oh, she's able to possibly do something, but... She's able, she dashes out of there. She gets out of there. She gets the stack on Lee Sin. And Zed gets both kills on Lee Sin and Cho'Gall. Well, 
in terms of that, my, in terms of that mid matchup, Zed needed to get those kills early on, and it looks like he is getting them. As he gets these kills, he's pretty much gonna turn into, uh, he's pretty much gonna pick off targets as he chooses to do that. Uh, with Lux and Vayne being in bot lane and with Jax kind of depending on how he builds if he doesn't build tanky he's also going to be considered a squishy target um, same as Lee Sin uh, if those guys don't build tanky then you could pretty much assume that Zed is going to go after whoever he feels like going after and getting that kill pretty uh, with a high success rating I'd say so, Cho'Gal's gonna have to figure out a way to kind of uh, slow that, slow that damage down. And if he doesn't do it, well, it's not gonna be good for the rest of his team. Finally, let's talk a little bit about this bot lane. We got Bane and Lux versus Draven and Janna. Uh, I'm gonna say a standard bot lane matchup. Got a little bit of a fight going on in mid now. Cho'Gal taking quite a bit of poke damage. Meanwhile, Lee Sin is coming to gank up top. It's a Riven making a mistake. Lee Sin comes through to save guard, but here is the Kendra. She's ready to fight. There goes the Jax. Kendra, uh, Rip, Riven's going to go ahead and get that kill. Meanwhile, Lee Sin might need to run a little bit further now. And I don't know why Lee Sin did that. I'm going to say he's definitely not a good move. The roundhouse kick comes through on Kendrick. Will she be able to get out? No, she will not. And that's going to be a kill. And looks like Leeson got the double kill on the ribbon. I'm going to say good job landing that coconut. And not necessarily the best move by far for the Kendrick or the ribbon. Okay, so back to this bot lane matchup. It's pretty standard, so we can kind of uh, go by the general mechanics of how um, bot lane matchups are supposed to go with poke, sustain, and kill uh, kind of being a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors situation. Uh, Draven and Janna are going to be a poke sustain lane. Uh, sustain mainly thanks to uh, her shields and, uh-oh, Zed taking quite a bit of damage from the Cho'Goth. Um, Anyway, oh, and Zed's going to go ahead and ult. He's throwing down a lot of damage on his Cho'Goth, but it's not going to be enough. Cho'Goth gets the kill before that death mark goes ahead and pops. Oh, Kendrid is on the run, though. She might be able to catch him, but Lee Sin is there to help out. Meanwhile, up top, Jax and Riven are going at it. Looks like Jax has quite a bit of an advantage, though. This looks like this won't be well for her. And here we go. Kendrick goes ahead, throws down the lambs of spite. She gets hit. And she's not able to finish off the choke off and get that stack. Now Lee Sin's aiming towards getting after this ribbon. She might want to go ahead and back off after she after seeing how uh Kendrick went ahead and died just then. Meanwhile, in bot Draven is probably two axes away from that first tower. And that's going to be in the Lux. She stayed a little too close uh, to that tower I was, as it was going down. And that led to its essential down, or led to her essential downfall. Uh, anyway, uh, the matchup with uh, Vayne and Lux is going to be more of a kill lane. So by right, uh things could have went either way but it looks like everything's going to be moving more towards Draven's uh, moving towards Draven's advantage just because it looks like uh, he was able to get quite a bit of money from uh, those previous kills and we got another fight up top looks like Lee Sin is going to be going after this Riven I don't know if this is really going to work out and Lee Sin's trying to go after her meanwhile Cho'Goth didn't have a chance with all those members of the blue team, but Riven just walks into the bush without a ward and gets roundhouse kicked, and that's the end of her. Mm, not necessarily the best idea, but hey, it was a good attempt on her part. Meanwhile, it looks like blue team will be taking that second tower. Uh, that will be the mid-outer tower. Red team still working on their first. 
think I see a little bit of a rotation going on with the Kendra. She might be moving up towards top. I don't know if she'll necessarily be able to stop the recall from Lee Sin. Oh, she tried, though. She almost made it. Uh, but yeah, now it looks like Blue Team is going to be focusing on that top tower. We'll see uh, how much resistance the Red Team wants to put out for that specific objective. But yeah, so it looks like Draven definitely has a lot of an advantage or a large advantage over the Bane. He currently has Storm Razor and it looks like he's working towards Bloodthirster. Um, possibly even Mercurial Scimitar at this point. And here we go, we got this fight going on up top with Jax. The spinning axe is coming through from Draven, but I'm not really sure. Oh. We're going to say, can Riven get the stun off? She is able to get the stun off, and the spinning axe comes through and gets the kill on Jax. Meanwhile, and oh, looks like this is the end of Zed. One ignite goes down, and that is it. A few autos after that rupture knockup, and Lee Sin coming through with the or with the with the flying coconut, but Draven not caring, throwing those spinning axes, doing way too much damage, and here comes. The Cho throws down that feral scream and gets the kill. Oh, and Janna might be able to get the kill. No, she is not. The healing potion saving luck or saving this vein from certain destruction. All right. Um. You say Vane is currently going Blade of the Ruin King. She's probably expecting to do a lot of dueling. My personal opinion, I probably wouldn't have built that just because Blade of the Ruin King is more of a tank shredding item. If I was going to build something looking more towards the dueling aspect, I probably would have went more towards uh, building Bloodthirster, uh, building a little bit more crit, and that is the end of Jax. Got the death mark going down, but Kendrick was already there throwing down a pretty excessive amount of damage on her own. Uh, so much for that. Meanwhile, it looks like Kendrick is on the hunt. She tries to flash forward past uh, the light binding, but she's not going to be able to make it. She gets caught by it and slowed immediately after. But it looks like Lee Sin has found Riven. I don't think this is... Oh, and she tries to go over the wall, but that's, that's going to be a fail. Now she's trying to... Fade out that Lee Sin as long as she possibly can. Meanwhile, Blue Team is going to be getting this rough herald. He's going to take the buff. It looks like Draven. Uh, uh oh, here comes Kendrick. She's going in on Jax. Jax takes the blast plant and gets out of dodge. However, it looks like Janna is playing a little too close to death. She takes one hit from this Cho'Gall, loses almost half of her health. She might want to be a little more careful moving forward. Uh oh. And Jax gets attacked again by the Kindred. This might be it for him. He, I thought he was burning, but it looks like he is able to use that Corrupting Potion to live through that. And this might be the end of Kindred. It is unable to ult due to the Feral Scream coming from Cho'Goth. Let's say... Silence has become a pretty important CC mechanic as of late. You got to be a little more worried when one of those champions with a silence like that comes up. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, that is going to be a Rift Herald being summoned in mid. Going to take that tower down by quite a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to completely take it. Meanwhile, Red Team seems to be rotating towards bot. I think they don't want to necessarily let Riven uh, attempt to try and get ahead too far. Meanwhile, Jan is running for her life from the Cho'Goth. She is going to be able to get away. And now Riven is going back into this fight. But all the Red Team is here now. Bane and Jax going as hard as they possibly can after this Riven. And now, here we go. We got the final hour coming through on Bane. So much damage went down on that vein from that Zed. She's going to go down. Uh, but both Riven and Zed are both going to get taken down as well. Janna is down. Draven throws one spinning axe. Gets that smooth, smooth kill on Lee Sin. I think he's not done yet. He's throwing axes. He's juggling them. 
I'm gonna say all it takes is two more axes and one axe goes down. It takes down Cho'Gath. This might be the end of Jax. And that is the end of Jax. And one more spinning axe. Not able to land that last hit on Lux. I'm gonna say Kendrick gets there, but just a smidge too late to be able to do much uh, in that situation. Looks like Kendrick's gonna go ahead and re-rotate down bot, taking that dragon. Uh, instead of pushing that tower, good move on her part. It's an infernal Drake, so that's gonna help her team out. Um, <clears throat> her team is behind in kills, but it is up in gold by about 2k right now. So uh, anything that helps her team increase that goal or increase that lead uh, based off their damage, um, that's always gonna be a good move in my book. So, right now, uh, looks like Red Team is getting pushed in pretty hard. Uh, right now, Red Team, or Blue Team, currently has uh, all of the outer red turrets down. It's a question of whether or not, oh, and looks like we might be getting ready to have another fight here. Jetta hits that tornado as Jax jumps in on her, tries to land that stun. Meanwhile, it, the entire Blue Team is here to try and catch out Jax. They are able to get that kill. Draven able to count his stacks Kendrick unable to ult gets taken down by this choke off meanwhile Draven throws his uh, he throws his axes and is unable to land a full kill however it looks like the red team is going to be at a bit of a disadvantage because right now blue team is going to be able to split two towers at once to take the mid inner tower and it looks like they're going to be taking that inner top tower as well. Now, Lee Sin is trying his best to stop Rhythm from getting away, but it's not going to be enough. She's going to dash out of that and go back in, clear out these minions, and then get out of dodge. So it's been a pretty, pretty interesting game so far, I'd have to say. Uh, definitely appreciating what these junglers have been doing in terms of trying to keep their team alive and going. Uh, Quite a bit of uh, objective control on both teams. Uh, blue team currently has two dragons and five towers. However, blue team or red team is not necessarily backing out. They have that earth dragon. All it takes is one team fight for them uh, to start taking quite a few objectives. So, I mean, like I said, it, all, it only takes one good team fight for the red team. Uh, blue team has continuously pick off uh, the red team members as they go. As long as they continue to do that, they'll always have that advantage. Um, and at some point, they'll have a strong enough advantage to be able to team fight. And But right now, if things continue as they are, red team won't have enough in the tank to actually make anything matter. And looks like Riven finds the choke off. And the Lux, she's going after both of those guys right now, but looks like we got a bit of a fight about to happen in this Baron Pit or around this Baron Pit. Riven throws down her ult way too soon, and now this might be the... Oh, well, just outside of the ult, Kendra's able to take down this vein. Meanwhile, it looks like Lee Sin should be getting ready to go in, and he takes the Baron Red... Red team getting that Baron from the Lee Sin. Meanwhile, it looks like this might not be great for the red team. That is the end of four out of, oh, that is the end of all five of the red team members. It looks like blue team, although they weren't, oh, Jax is still alive. Although they weren't able to take that Baron, they were able to get four out of the five blue members. Uh, and they should by right be able to take this tower but we'll have to see how this plays out you say Bane is here and the death mark comes down on the Bane I don't know if Zed's gonna be able to get this kill uh, Draven needs to focus on getting the tower but it looks like the ignite went down on Wow uh, it looks like the ignite went down from the Janna, and now Lee Sin is chasing after Draven, thinking he's going to get a fight. But nah, Draven is out of there, thanks to Janna's uh, passive. It's a really exciting game so far. Uh, so yeah, let's look at a little bit of, or let's 
Ah. Let's look a little bit at these builds right now. Um, oh, and it looks like Lee Sin is probably about to die here. And that is a dead Lee Sin. I don't know. Oh, and the final spark goes down. Getting the kill on the Kindred. So much for that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, just looking at... Well, mainly because... I'm looking at the differences between the two ADCs right now. Uh, just looking at the difference between the Draven and the Vein. The Vein currently on her, working on her second item. It looks like Cho'Goth is not really in a good spot. Got a Draven throwing axes, Zed, and Riven pretty much around him. He's, he wasn't going to get out of that. He knew that, but so much for that. Uh, Lux trying to throw down some damage on Riven, however, only able to take down half of her health. I don't know if Riven's going to be able to make it. She tries to jump the wall, but she's a little too far away to make that actually happen, and she unfortunately goes down. <clears throat> now Blue Team is trying to decide whether or not they can actually go after this inhib. Um... However, it should be pretty apparent that at this point they sh can take it, and it looks like they will. Let me say Janna with that Ardent Sensor, and Draven with uh, Storm Razors, Bloodthirster, and a Rapid Fire Cannon. Um, oh, and we got a fight between Jax and Kindred. Kindred throwing down her ult. Lambs respite. I don't think it was necessarily great for her to run out of her circle, but it's not like anything would have changed had she stayed in there. You say now it looks like all of Red Team's inner turrets are down. They currently have their base open in mid uh, with super minions piling through. So it's going to be up to them to be able to defend. However, Lux might have went a little too far, and now Zed just jumps in on her, gets that quick quick kill and now it looks like they're gonna go ahead our blue team's gonna go ahead and get that earth dragon that will definitely help them with future barons if there happens happens to be one while Janna goes ahead throws down that hur hurricane and tries to heal up all of her team but it looks like red might be in a bit of a advantage here Janna's not going to be living too much longer. And now that was a 4 for 0 uh, team fight for the red team. They kind of collapsed in at a, a perfect time uh, and were able to kind of put the blue team on the back foot uh, after taking an objective that was pretty, or that they, I, I mean, I honestly thought it was pretty free at that point. So. Good job on red team not giving up and trying to find that advantage. They're currently down 5k gold right now, but uh, nothing says come back like focused and uh, well put together teamwork. As League has been saying, teamwork is OP. <laughs> I say no one thought that they'd ever hear that again. <laughs> Oh, and Lux is caught out by herself against this Kendra. She throws down the... She threw down the exhaust, and it was enough to stop uh, the Kendra's damage from completely bursting her down. She's able, as a result, to get the follow-up, or get a kind of revenge kill, uh, or equalizing kill, let's call it that. Um, meanwhile, Zed is going in, and he goes ahead, ults with the death mark on this vein. Meanwhile, Zed thought he was getting out, but he gets condemned. And then Roundhouse kicked Lee Sin right there at his shadow. And it looks like this is the start of the comeback for the red team. Uh, they're moving as... They're not necessarily moving as a full team, but they're moving as full units. Uh, with at least two members in each fight as it is moving forward. Um... Those two people are able to pretty much counteract anything that the blue team might put together in that situation. So, um, it's only a matter of time before... <laughs> my nickname is Untiltable. It's only a matter of time before uh, a comeback is able to occur. Blue team needs to figure out a way to close out this game before things get a little out of hand. 
Draven running after this Lux, not able to catch up to her. He decides to just focus on getting these minions. Good move on his part because Cho'Goth is so close. Tries to knock him up with that rupture, but it's not going to happen. Meanwhile, Jax is going to be hiding, waiting for the Kindred to run through, but she's not going to fall for it either. Uh, not necessarily looking all that great. Meanwhile, Cho'Goth is not necessarily in a great position, and that is the end of Kindred. That feral scream goes down and gets... It just makes it impossible for her to do anything. Like, uh, Kindred has to figure out a way to bait out that scream, otherwise... This is only going to get worse as the game progresses. Okay, and the rupture coming up from the choke off, going big, getting that kill for the Vayne. Vayne's been pretty chill this entire match. She hasn't necessarily gotten all that many kills. She's currently 3, 4, and 12. However, she is staying very, very relevant in this game as it is right now. Meanwhile, Janna throwing down her ultimate, trying to stop the immediate super burst coming from the red team. Uh, able to do that, but now it's a matter of trying to figure out what is the next task for this blue team. And Deathmark comes down. It does not completely land on the Lux. However, that is going to be a kill for Draven anyway. Meanwhile, Cho'Goth coming back. He didn't completely recall, but it might not have been a good move on his part. But it looks like that is going to be the end of Draven, thanks to Lee Sin. Take, like, the Cho'Goth must have went ahead and ate the Draven. Meanwhile, Kendra's trying her part, but she's not able to ult again. You say every time she's unable to ult, that leads to a pretty uh, bad situation for the oh wow okay that quick burst meanwhile it looks like Jax was trying to go for baron but he's going to take quite a beating by the hand of ribbon and that is going to be a wind slash coming in from ribbon getting a kill on Jax, and janet comes back and helps out this ribbon getting uh, a kill for the ribbon bringing her a little bit further back into this game say definitely not um, what red team was hoping for at this point red, oh 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 at this point red team however is almost at the kind of like the late game so any advantage that the blue team might have had might consider to be also gone and nice pick up by the ribbon able to 1v1 that Lux uh, meanwhile, blue team is going to be going after this Baron. Kindred is coming there, and it looks like this should be a quick and easy Baron for the blue team. Now, let's see if they are able to capitalize on this Riven going straight into the base. Not really sure if that was a great idea on her part by herself. She's able to dodge the Coconut coming in from the Lee Sin. However, she's, like I said, not really in a great position. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Once Bane got involved in that fight, that was pretty much a death certificate signed by Riven. And so now it looks like Blue Team is going to be taking this uh, fifth dragon. It's going to be Ocean, so it's going to be really nice for them if they're able to go ahead and get that Elder Dragon. Uh, two Inferno, one Earth, and one Ocean is pretty much one of the best combinations you could possibly get in terms of dragon output so uh let's see if the red team is going to be able to survive that onslaught and the final spark comes down on the kindred she loses half of her health uh pretty interesting but anyway uh looks like that's going to be a free inhib for the blue team not like the red team can necessarily fight all four of those guys off at once quite a few people would definitely die in that situation Meanwhile, it looks like Kendrick is going to have to fight a Lee and Lee bursting Kendrick out as soon as he possibly can. I'm going to say once her teammates left, or once Kendrick's teammates left them, uh, it was only a matter of time before that Lee was going to go in. He had complete vision over where she was. It wasn't like there was any ambiguity in that whole situation, so... Uh, good job on Lee for being aware of uh, the map, I guess. 
But yeah, now we are pretty much at the late game. Like, I know it doesn't really seem like that 33 minutes in. However, there the current gold is 69 to 64. Um, oh, and a lot of damage coming down on Draven. Meanwhile, Janna throws down her ult. Draven's trying his best to fight these two guys off at once. He gets the kill on Lee Sin. Meanwhile, he gets the kill on Lee Sin. He might be able to get the kill on Jax, but Tornado goes down, misses. However, Z uh, Zed is there to help out. And Draven, although he lost his Guardian Angel, is able to survive that fight. Meanwhile, it looks like Riven is starting to consider going straight after these objectives. Not necessarily a bad move on her part. Uh, but she, now she has to get out because she's gone a little too far in. And she gets consumed by this Cho'Gath. That's the end of her. Uh, looks like Zed is going to be pushing down that bot in hit. And now Kindred, again, the Feral Scream just goes down and completely negates her capacity to be able to save herself. Gonna say Zed almost getting ready to die by the hand of Lux, but Draven with his spinning axe able to kind of balance things out, and it looks like this will be the end of the game. Zed able to sh uh, shadow through that Nexus. He gets condemned away immediately, flashes towards Nexus, and gets that last hit on it, gets that 50 gold. So with that, blue team has won that game. All right, so... I'm going to say that was a really interesting matchup. Really exciting to watch. Uh, Kindred finishing 5, 14, and 12. Able to kind of keep that ribbon uh, relevant all throughout the beginning of that game. Uh, because of that, it kind of forced the red team to kind of behave around the, the entire team. Rather than just kind of focusing on one or two members. Mainly the Zed or the Draven. They had to be aware of... Riven, Draven, and Zed at the same time. Those assists also definitely did help out the Kindred uh, as she got quite a few stacks, if I'm not mistaken. Let's. Oh, I can't necessarily switch up. Oh, yeah, I can. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, nope. If you're dead, I can't look at you. Well, Kindred was able to get quite a few stacks off as a result. Uh, so that kind of helped her team later on. Uh, to kind of uh, keep that advantage that they had. They had the gold lead for quite a bit of time despite not having the kill lead. Uh, but remember, this is a team game and it's not necessarily for the kills that you do things. You do them to get objectives. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, again, I want to thank Gohan for allowing me to cast their game. Hopefully, I did them justice as they went through that matchup. I'm going to say Gohan did quite a bit of work there, going 16, 6, and 6 with 213 CS. Uh, that's a ridiculous amount of gold. 20K gold is not something to sneeze at. So, good job on uh, Gohan's part for this matchup. Definitely showing that the ADC uh, meta still has some. Uh, bearing in the league world today <laughs> uh, but yeah so with that I'm gonna go ahead and sign off again my name is strike alpha thank you all for watching and I can't wait to do this for you guys again next time